Hi guys, Brett here from Hearns Hobbies. Yeah? And I'm joined by Tony Gray. You yeah, we weren't I, expecting that, were you? I caught him by surprise, <laughs> I think. It's like yeah. rabbit in the headlights, yeah, deer well, in the headlights. Yeah, I wasn't actually turned on yet, but. I think oh, we there we go. go That's though. another episode. I'm, I'm turned on looking at this. How cool is this? This. We're going to unbox, get in, and fiddle around with Tony Gray's new RC10 CC, crystal clear. Is that what they're calling it? Crystal clear. Crystal clear RC10. This is a limited edition. This is to commemorate their, I don't know, do they win something? Or? This is 40 years of 40 the years. RC10. So it's, not, That's even mainly old, what it's, it's about. not even as old as you. No. Something. Surprisingly, there are things in the world not as old as me. Fantastic. Well, here this, you go, this mate. This is cool. This is, this is my car. This although, is your car. Although I bought it from here, obviously. Well, well we only sell the finest products here at Hearn Toddies. Well, we go. I can't argue with that. Oh, they got three seals. They make sure that people don't get their grubby little fingers in, hey? Is that secretly satisfying? Look, there's one over here. Yeah, oh, I know. Hey? And what can you tell me about the RC10 that hasn't been said? I think it's all been said before. I, d I do remember the early days of the Keeler Club. Everybody had AYK Bobcats and Buffaloes. Bobcats and Buffaloes. Everyone had one. And then Rob Bishop turned up with the first RC10. Yeah. And the Bobcats and Buffaloes were instantly outdated. Soon it disappeared. What about the frogs? What happened to the frogs? They were still there, but they were in the, the lower classes. This is going to be tricky Look at to this. see. This is, in fact, crystal clear. <laughs> Have a... It's got a driver figure. When was the last time oh. you got an RC10 with a driver figure? I don't know. That looks like it's the um, off the original mould, even. It doesn't say. It's not date stamped like a. Um, is that the right yeah. word? Date yeah. stamped. Can well, I say you that? Do, you do what you want with your date. <laughs> <laughs> like the Tamiya stuff, but yeah. That looks like it's the original one, but I, I could be completely wrong. I mean, I'm. You're asking me. Looks to, to me like it's got years. CNC machine marks in there, but who knows? Would have been whittled out of clay and wood before, wouldn't it? Oh, yeah, there'd be an old man on the porch. Po <laughs> on the porch. <laughs> on Gene. Sitting on the, it would be Gene Hafting on the porch, just doing that. These, when this was first mooted at the SEMA show, which was like, what, two months ago, no, and they first released it and yep. said, look at this, it's great. And Ooh. there was talk that, and they didn't say they were going to release it as a production kit at that no. time. And there was a one-to-one -one RC10 at the SEMA as show, wasn't well. there? And for that first week... Uh, myself and Tony P said, oh, I want one of them. They're not going to make it. I'll do one myself. And I'd spent three or four days getting uh, all the CAD data from various places because most really? of it's readily available. I was going to 3D print one myself because you can do it. You can do the clear without any trouble. I wasn't sure what I was going to do with the chassis. This will be moulded. This yeah. won't be 3D printed, mate. I know, I know. But I thought, oh, well, I'm not going to be able to buy one. I'll make one. I mean, this is from Associated. This is from, like, one of the second best companies yeah. in the world behind Yokomo, of oh, course. I was going to ask it there. <laughs> <laughs> Look, the body, clear. And There's no surprise. What can you tell yeah. me about the body? Is it tell original? You it's scratched on the inside, which almost every one of these kits has been. Is that because it was over the tub? Yes, they reckon that's what it is. So a lot of people have been... Um... It's not a gold pan. No. But I'm glad they made that choice because the gold against the clear wouldn't have looked as good. Wouldn't have looked as good. No. All right, I'm going to get this box out of the way. Yeah. So here is the body. So it's the original it's or the original, original Prote copy. Prote I think a Protec Funco or something it was called. Definitely not front cab body. Definitely no. not aerodynamically <clears throat> designed. But looks like the buggies that they're based upon, right? Yeah. Driver figure in there. Where are the original RC10s? Did they have... Lex and driver figures. I'm pretty sure they did. Yeah. I don't think anyone ever used them. Yeah. Now, now you said before, are you going to paint that or not? I'm thinking not, but I also don't want to leave it clear. The um, certainly the car on the front cover. Yes. It has uh, got a bit of a frosted effect. If Couldn't that just that, be? If we move that back in yeah. there, it's frosted. So I'm thinking a. Um, Isn't that just where they've scribed off the? Um, I don't think it is. I think they. So the protector? That's my idea. I was thinking more of a, of a, of a satin clear yeah, on the satin outside, clear. which will also cover that little problem there, so you wouldn't notice that's quite... Because I want it to be clear, but I don't want it to be 100% like that. But you are going to play with it? Oh, yeah. I'm not going to build it exactly as it is. In fact, that chassis is the next thing. Yep. I'm thinking of stripping it and getting it polished. 
so that it would be chrome and shiny. Chrome and shiny. Because I think that it would look absolutely killer. The, uh, that's the it. Pure, the purists Cut. would not be happy. Customise a work of art. No, well, that's why we do RC, isn't it? Yeah, but I think that's that how it got. Look, that's, this is how exactly how it got scratched. Yeah, see the that, little lip on there. Yeah, that's just pressed. Yep. Typical associated, right? Just yeah. May as well. Then they're going into making pots and pans. Yeah. But that little scratch right there. Yeah. But beautifully detailed recreation of the original. No, on the, I've never had a gold pan nor silver pan. It's actually. What do you reckon? The finish isn't as good as the originals. Well, they probably wouldn't want to spend heaps <coughs> of money on the new moulding. Yeah. Or would have been really old tooling. This is the first bag in there. Do you want to start here? Or yeah. do you want to... No, I'm in. I, I I'm don't going care what, in. I don't care what order we go in. Then we just throw a bag in and it'll... But it's de it will definitely be built up. So this is bag J. Oh, ba oh the famous. Bag J. After J Halsey. It gets left behind a lot, bag J, doesn't it? It does. Forgotten about bag. I'm thinking of putting electronics in this, but redoing the electronics and, clear. and 3D printing the cases in clear. We're just heat shrinking them. N Faithful nah, to I'd rather 3D print them so that, it look, so that they follow the... Gear cover? Well, gear that cover. would have been standard issue. Ah, but the original ones had a hard white plastic Did they? plug. This has got a rubber one. Nice little rubber butt plug. Yep. Goes in without lube. Nope, there you go. That's enough of that. This is. Is this the wing wire? Yes. What I'm looking at here. I'm going to zoom zoom in so people can have a look. People might be interested in this stuff. Have a look. This is back when we used to piano wire. Yeah. You're pain in the ass every month. You'd have to get a new one because you'd bend it so many times, particularly when you drive like me. Yeah. Yeah. Uh, it's good to see that they've fitted it with ball bearings for use. It is not no. designed for use, this kit. No, no, they've advised that you shouldn't really drive it. Will it be metric or imperial hardware? It'll be imperial. Yeah? I don't Surely. Surely. Surely it will be surely imperial. The we instruction do have the instructions. Will fit me with that cutter thing. Oh, the original knockoff nuts. Yep. I'm looking at here. I'll be, and if not, it is metric, I'll be disappointed. These are frosted too. Not the first nuts you've seen today either. Oh, that's the original, <laughs> the, the original picture too, which is good. Is it? Looks like yeah. something that, well, I wasn't going to say even you drew. You would draw better than that. Uh, I yeah. should hope. Yeah, all, yeah, hardware's imperial. Imperial. Can confirm. As, as it should be. We will have a look at that after. I've got some Nylox. I'm going to get into that. How many people are going to crack these wheels trying to assemble them? Oh, yeah. What were these tyres called? I don't know. Oh, they didn't have like a name? Not that I Team know. Team Associated. They weren't like Maxi Bumps or something? No. No? No, Associated didn't go in for the that sort of thing. Oh, Jesus, they're so hard. Hard as Hades. Oh. Aren't they? <laughs> Wouldn't work hey? on anything. Well, it's a shelf queen. Yeah. Good luck in, uh, having fun with these. Oh, because they're a three-piece, it's not quite so bad. Look at that. Doesn't that? It just looks... Cool. I don't know, it's just a novelty factor or what? Yeah. The original ones would have been alloy? No, they're all with a white plastic. They were white plastic, white original plastic. ones? You can see my depth of uh, AA. RC10 knowledge. Is very um, I don't know, comprehensive. I, I had two of the original gold pans when not long after they first came out. And then did they go couldn't, in the bin? Couldn't get any here. I ordered them from, ordered one from Tower Hobbies. Tower hobbies. hobbies. And after two months it hadn't turned up, so I complained. So they sent me another one. And then express, two arrived. And then they both arrived on the same day. I sold one of them for a, wow. an exorbitant price. Oh, Jesus. <laughs> That's beautiful. Horrible. They didn't spend any money on that moulding whatsoever. No. Would this be original moulding? I'm surely not. They wouldn't have kept anything from that age before computer times. They'd be all computer run machines now. Yeah, it's hard to know. There you go. Well, so, we live in we live in curiosity. You can just feel the um, the clear parts that there's no no give. There's no give. Normally, in everything you that's got, a lot like your ego. <laughs> yeah, it's just brittle. No, yeah, brittle, <laughs> fragile. <laughs> so couldn't yeah, be further from the truth. It wouldn't people. be uh, not known for your great big yeah. ego. Oh, the shocks. Comes with AE38 industry <laughs> standard. It doesn't matter whether the car's clear or not. It doesn't matter. 
I've heard Actually, a, a few people building them for, for their shelf life they haven't put oil in at all. Yeah, well, that's the go-to, isn't it, with shelf right. queens? Now, here is the reasoning for me thinking that the tub would look better in chrome because you've got a, a, a highly machined finish on the shocks in silver. A highly machined. So I think that's what makes me think the uh, a chrome tub would work really well. And then would you get these repolished as well? Oh, I'd certainly consider it. Might be able to do that myself because that's relatively easy. The iconic easy. gold shocks, hey? Gold pan and gold shocks. Yeah. And all the, Nothing but silver They've taken clear. all the iconic away. The springs. Pistons are white. These look like modern Delrin. They even give you some tuning options. Yeah, good. <laughs> I'd like to be using <laughs> that. <laughs> Oh, oh, uh, this is for the cartridge inside the. Ca that's given me a memory. Re oh, yeah. Building the shocks from the bottom, right? The cool. big clip and the shock tool. Didn't these have a special shock tool? Am I. Mm. No, I. Yeah. Uh, something had a special shock tool. I d don't remember whether it was this or something else. Because it used to go in and click into be, the. Because you had to assemble it in from here. I'd be tempted no? to use a different oil that, that's coloured. I know the lossy oils are coloured, aren't they? Yeah, it just. To provide a nice little contrast, I think. Shock collars? Yep. Uh, spring preload collars? That's probably the bush, isn't it? To yeah, hold the, the bush is in the top of the... I'm looking forward to seeing you run this, or maybe not seeing you run this, because it'll be invisible. Yeah, you won't be able to see it. It's going to get very dirty though, isn't it? Could get a, uh, a touch of irony and paint the shell in camouflage colours, because that way you couldn't see it either. I'm just looking for that one part missing off the part three. It's right here. Okay. What else have we got? Oh. We've got some hardware. Looks like they've taken the time to anodize some of the, the yeah. shock balls and stuff. Hard coated. Because they can't surely still be using those. No. Well, none of this, this imperial hardware no, that we'll be all, using at all. It's all, um, it's all metric now. And the B7's out soon too. Oh, look at those gear, the six gear cases. Six gear case in crystal clear. Yeah, that looks so cool. Right and left. Apparently this that has caused a, a, a lot of um, consternation amongst the AE fanatics that a lot of them say, what a waste of time, why did you bother doing this? But With what? Well, how many are they going to sell? Well, uh, I think that's Lots, the thing. I think. It's, and I think that's any brand wants to do. I think the important thing is this has signaled a shift in direction for AE because they got badly burned with the re re of the uh, world's RC10. Really? Well, towards what? the end of its run, you could buy them for half price. No one wanted them. They were really? Too, they were too early. This was long before the vintage thing really started to boom, uh, and they just couldn't get rid of them. And they said, we'll never do another re re, -re. re And I think this might signify a, uh, a bit of a change of heart. These are flanged bushes. Yeah. That's a bit special in machining and, and stuff, yeah. isn't it? Yeah. So it's not all ball bearing, but that doesn't matter if you're not going to run it. You'll have to ball race yours. You probably won't yeah. run it that much. No, you might be lucky to do three laps. If that. What's that felt? Is that for the outdrive bearings? I can't remember. I think it was. I think, yeah, on the outdrive on the um, case. But again, I could be completely wrong. You're asking oil. me to remember back 40 years, and I don't remember uh, what I did last week. The motor plate. Motor plate, motor mount? Yep. So if you had the polished chassis, would you also polish this? Yeah, would you leave would, it as a contrast? That would have to be done, as and the, the nose plate as well, which is in that bag. I noticed that the teaser images that they did of the B7 are actually did in clear. Yeah. Very noticeable. And I want, <clears> that was I pretty deliberate, wasn't it? I think it was. I think it's a bit of cross promotion. Yes. And what? Well, since they got the mold, it doesn't really matter what they put into there, right? For yeah. a display. So got more hardware. What are those little screws is it used for? On um, something. Hmm. It's a very small screw, isn't it? Yeah. Uh, here we go. Oh. It'll be for these things. These these would fasten them to the outdrive. Look at them all. I don't know. Not familiar with a six gear box. You would be. You'd be an expert at them, I dare say. No, no? I was. But now I can barely remember. I just remember there were six of them. Well, there's eight little screws and there's eight little. Yep. 
So these are the there's, outdrive gears? There's, there's people who are seriously RC10 obsessed who are shouting at the screen now calling us idiots. Well, that's okay. And to be frank, they're, you probably, resemble that remark. they're probably correct. You absolutely resemble that remark. Yeah. And I'm just pleading ignorance in the RC10 department. And that's okay. Will... That's the slip bridge. The ball diff slip bridge. Yeah? I would suggest... So that's the spur gear. The original ones were 32 pitch. I don't know. I don't even know that they're about to get these at a spare part, but it's got a tooth count of 81. Yeah, well, that's obviously. So that's, that's very much. That's obviously 48 pitch, but the originals pitch. were 32 pitch, I'm sure. And they use these balls here as mm -hmm. to act as a slipper, right? Yes. Which wasn't yeah. super consistent. Yeah, well, captured yeah. thrust. Yeah. That's nice. Originally, Associated said they were not going to release spare parts for this. Yes. They've since changed their mind. Have there they? There are some, you can buy the chassis, and there's a couple of other, there's three or four other parts that I've seen that are available, so. There you go. You can be the first to to break it yeah. and order arms. Yeah, I, I think they just did that to say, oh, you've got to buy two kits. That's right. Yeah, but when if you can get them. So here you've got some more transmission parts, and these are hand machined. These are not mass produced, I would say. well, they're mass yeah. produced, obviously, but that is very hand finished. Isn't it? Yes. Can you, are you noticing that? It's looking like it. So it looks like it's been hardened or anodized and then it's been gone in a lathe to do some tidy up. So it's definitely got a different finish over here. Yeah. A raw finish. It, does, it doesn't It does look like it's come out of the CNC, CNC at all. It's Because there, there are little imperfections. Yeah. I don't see that as a Which bad it thing. probably would have had in the old days. Well, they would have had far more. No? Well, I would have had a lot more being AE. Yeah. And it was AE made in America too. I don't know whether this is, would all be made in Taiwan now, I assume. Well, it's an American company, that's all it that matters, right? Well, it's not really. <laughs> it's all owned by Thunderdog in now, so. But we don't say that. We don't say <laughs> yeah. that. Yeah, I did. Uh, here's the nose piece you were talking There's about. Here's the nose piece. And it looks like we've got some steering bell crank. Yep. So there's a nose piece. There's so that goes nose. all the way under the... That goes on top. Server. That goes on... Yeah. Pull the chassis over. Go. Oh, he was just having a drive. Hang on a second now. Yeah. What have we got here? So that slides. Okay. So that does it. It goes on there. Uh, and that's when they had those support The nose beams. piece. They always had those support the nose beams. tubes. Nose tubes. The nose tubes. Here are the nose tubes. Okay, and that was synonymous all the way until they went to the plastic cars. Yeah. Yeah? Even and the world's had that. Now, these look okay, but I've seen on the, the internet the few people that have got these kits that some of these uh, weren't correctly produced. They were too short. Too short? They, these look the right length to me. How can you tell from there? I'm just looking at it and re remembering it and looking across it there. <laughs> these look like hand-machined shims. There's the imperfections on there. Yeah. Imperfections are good. Oh, they're character, aren't they? Yeah. A bit like you and I, full it's of character. Like, yeah. It's like not when you even, buy... Not even imperfections. It's like when you buy a Ducati and all the bits aren't, don't fit together. Oh, that's oh, character. That's right. I've just paid $45,000. It's character. You'll have that rattle clutch and you'll enjoy it. Oh, yeah. Love that dry clutch. <laughs> yeah, oh, that battery holder. What's that? Oh, the battery That's holder. It's a battery cup. Okay. Ah, oh, and the battery retainer. Yes. As well as in there. Yeah. Apparently open. it's all been redesigned to... Um, fit lipos. To fit lipos. But it's it looks still narrower. the same as original. The same in essence. What else is in your box, mate? Show me oh. Show me your box. Show me the monkey. Oh, you show that, me the monkey and mon I'll show you your future. The monkey's over there. He's on his computer. Oh, dog bones. All original dog bones. Oh, oh yes. They're not even clear. No, nah, this thing's designed to be raced. <laughs> Otherwise, they would have given it clear dog bones. Oh, which, I can print some. Which would have been quite questionable. Here we've got some suspension arms. You can, yeah, you it's can brittle. Just, you can just hear it. Shattering. Well, you can imagine what these the rear uprights would be like. They wouldn't take much of a hit at all. Less hits than Elvis. Thank you very much. Well, what are these hinged things here? Are these a hinge the, pin mounts? Yeah, the hinge 
Pins so they go mounts. in the outer side of the gearbox. Yeah. Yep. The, Very. Th this sort of thing, you're going to even need to be really careful when you when you nip off the parts. Out. Got to polish the hinge pins, surely. There won't be a shaft within sight that's not polished when you start going. Well, I think it's the sort of thing that's worth spending a bit of time on. You have got me considering three D printing the the dog bones just for appearance. No, they just look I a bit I'm... out of school. They have done a good job with the hinge pins, though. They are a mm. really nice finish for it would be. a kit. What are these springs for in an AA? Can you see those tiny springs there? I've forgotten. With the rear axle assembly. Did they go yeah. over the hinge pins or something? Or? We might have to read the instructions one of these days. Well, you don't have to, I do. I say we start building, I'll get the Dremel. No. This is to be done in the peace and comfort of your own home. Yeah, Comple it is completely nude. Because that, that way you can do, well, it matches the, the, the rawness of the car. Shock tower. Shock tower is white fiberglass. White fiberglass, that's normal. And that's these bulkheads. These are, these are prone to failure on the... Um, Even on the nylon ones. The nylon ones. I wonder if uh, Cookies parts will fit this. They've they taken the... Oh, they've already they've taken inserted the, the wind tubes. To have them moulded in. No? They would have moulded moulded yeah. them in. Yeah, well, they didn't come like that initially. Why, were they super glued in or screwed yeah, in? Yeah, you just pushed them in. So that's where the battery goes. Yeah. Definitely narrower. Oh. <laughs> I hate... It's just... What? From an engineer's viewpoint, that's just so wrong. You can engrave it really nicely. Yeah. But you won't. Or really badly. <laughs> got some more hardware. Again, more of this body mount there. I've got some more handmade fasteners. These stepped washers here. I bet there's some um, nervous people at AU going, oh God, we hope this sells, we hope this sells. You reckon? I, I don't know. Well, like I said. I don't I know said, how many they made. When, think... the, when they got burned on the, on the world's car, they would have been thinking twice about this. But certainly the... Uh, well, this is just a celebration, isn't it? This wasn't yeah. designed at sales. This is purely celebration. It's really good that manufacturers are taking the time to celebrate their heritage uh, and give yeah. something to us oldies. And we're about to experience it this week ourselves with the 870C landing in. Yes. That is a wide front shock yeah. tower, isn't it? Yep. How small were the front arms? Yeah. Like an MO3. They're there. Here they are. And that's probably why they handled so damn fine. Not by today's standard, but tiny little front arms. They were so much better than anything else on the track at that time. Nothing uh, came close. I hadn't felt the wrath of my frog. <laughs> well, very few people had once you got that restraining order. <laughs> <laughs> well, he's a slimy little sucker, isn't he? <laughs> oh, he is. Here we go, steering knuckles. Yep. Can you imagine one hit, gone. It's not going to stop you from trying though, is it? Or is it? <laughs> we'll see how it goes in the build. Yeah. But at least you can put it on the shelf broken. Yeah. No? You can just... It's going to go on the shelf either way. It may as well go on the shelf broken with a story. Even my modern cars end up on the shelf broken. <laughs> that's right. <laughs> so, that's nothing new. I'm good with that. I wonder if we've got Imperial ball ends. Everything's Imperial. Imperial Master. There's the front stub axles. They've got cute little wheel nuts, on they? haven't they? What are these things? These are the front uprights, are they? These are the hinge pin mount? Yeah, the inner mount. Yep. The big ass aerial tube. Look at that. Oh. It's got a big dunger on the end. Big dunger on the end. I can all go there. That's quality. That's not like the ones that I'm familiar with. No, this it's is a bit thicker. Not, not Tamir or... I haven't seen one like that for ages. The stickers are nice. What do you like most about the sticker sheet? Uh, From a design point of view? I'm liking the colour choices. Was that anything that was on the original? No. No, that's... To my knowledge, that wasn't on any of the kids. It's 
It's got a dashboard. Yeah. How cool is that? A oh. racing buggy with a dashboard. Clear edition decal sheet, two of two. So there's two decals. Oh, of course, it's not American. Hey, hey. Hey. Don't get me started. Oh. Don't get me all patriotic. Yeah. I'll, I'll start shedding tears. You know how I get. <laughs> Talking about the mother. Oh, look. They're cheating. There's no way that this would have had window masks back in the day. Don't remember. Probably you would have not. had to hand cut. It was all part of it. No, Tamir, Ooh, all of them. We've got some tools. Imperial tool. That is the and shock tool I was the talking shock tool about. you were talking about earlier. It's going to go in and you hear a distinct click. I only ever built one and that was a T model. Yep. Ball ends. No. These are different color. They're, they're a lot, they're, that's a bit brighter than the original They haven't ones. gone as far as, definitely. The original ones were quite like a, a more milky. milky sort of nylon-y, yeah? Yeah. Like the gear is almost like, sort of like that. I love seeing that gear again, that, that, weirdo, yeah. that weirdo colour, that reminds me of the original. I really think that their diff gear is <clears> like that now. They use that same or very similar. I have yeah. I built, I've got a B6 but I didn't build it of course, I've got someone else to because well, I couldn't course. be bothered. It was an associate. No turnbuckles? No. It and this, this feels like quite, I don't know, I reckon it could be quite nylon-y. But yeah, probably the... Um, the the strains are a lot more pure these days I'd say yeah you know won't be once you're finished with it the impurities will be look it's oh. a little tall kit you got to build it with that no 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 I've got I've got some decent imperial do you tool. there's no I need to borrow one from you I've got a car at home sitting on my bench that I can't even take the wheels off from the vintage bash I don't know if you saw me drive that one I don't recall but hey it's the Fiends double X ah yes <laughs> I can't even get the wheels <laughs> off to clean it or anything that's all right. Look at that. 6004RC10CC. CC. Crystal, Crystal clear. clear. And the instructions are probably, so that could be the cover from the original. The cover, but the, but the instructions are not. No. Because instructions of yesteryear were horrible. Yes. Weren't they? They were terrible. Instructions have come a long way, and I think we've got Tamiya, I think, to really count for that. To me, are definitely the benchmark instructions. I, I'm not a big fan of the um, the 3D CAD generated. These stuff. ones? They're, I mean, they work fine, but I still prefer line drawings. But that's probably because I spent 30 years as an illustrator doing these so drawings. So I'm just having because a, a lot of these construction methods are not familiar to me. So this. Yes, I remember all of this. Do you? Yes. This is very awkward. Yeah. Spline paint. It's stuff you so look at. So that's the idler gear holder. So yeah. that locks in with a pin yeah. and a nut. Wow, so that makes your idler shaft. Yeah. Very strong. I mean, nowadays, it'd just be a single shaft inserted into one side of the gearbox. That's and right, and retained by the other. And here we have that, that bush. It's going to be hard to race that. 3 by 16 by 5 sixteenths. 3 sixteenths by 5 sixteenths by a quarter inch bush. There you go. Got one of those in your tool drawer? Okay, Probably not. <laughs> I remember when you built one of these, everyone bought the uh, the accompanying uh, VHS video, which was the winning edge with RC10s, which had tips from uh, Jim Halsey, yep. uh, Roger Curtis, at Gene Husting. People are not even going to buy this video. And this no. is full of insight and wisdom. Is it? They get the joy You're of watching You're going to add stuff it onto it after I go. Ah, <laughs> uh, so those screws and that, that's to retain the bush. Hmm. There so you go. So there's not a plate there, so that just retains the bush. I bet that Winning Edge video is on YouTube somewhere. You might need it when you come to set this one up. I've, no, I've got the original video stuff. Have you? Yeah. You I'll, don't, I'll, you I don't... had a quick look for it this morning. I was going to bring it in. It doesn't work on my player. <laughs> Have you got a VHS player at home? Uh, yes. Uh, I've got one that I used. It's got that big tub of videos under your bed, haven't it's you? It's got a DVD player hey? on it as well, and that is that too. I uh, I can use it, to, <laughs> so I use it to transfer VHS videos onto DVD. Oh, that's unlawful. I, I think it's. I don't a, think you can announce that. They're going to come after you now. Actually, it might not be at my place. I think Tim Keeler borrowed it for some disgusting videos. Oh, don't bring Timmy into it. <laughs> I'd like to bring Timmy. Into it. <laughs> yeah. Look at that. Number two front, number two piston rear. Oh, okay. Yeah, so don't don't alter the setup, it won't handle. 
I'm sure Ray Monday will say, oh, no, you'll need to drill that out an extra 60 foul. That's right. That's right. Sorry, and, and, and put a little, put a spacer under the ball cap to change yeah. the roll centre. Shock fluid. Yeah, so there's that. So you load up that yeah. shock tool. Yeah. Yeah, with all your goodies. Yeah, and then... You slide it in and it goes click, and it's yeah. done. And you yeah. never touch it again. Yeah, because I never will. I'm looking forward to doing this to make me swear like a... Although nothing made me swear as much as building old shoemakers. I think the last clear car I've ever seen you run, and I'm sure I've seen you run it, was a MO3. I okay. had a clear MO3 and yeah. a clear TLO1. Okay. Because to me, it did release it as a special edition. Well, yeah. they did. They used to do lots of special editions of those yeah, cars. Yeah, so I've had those in the past. They're both my MO3 now lives in Singapore. Really? Yes, I sold it. There you go. I can't remember where the TLO one went to. So back in the old days, I bet this piano wire probably wasn't even pre-bent. Uh, no, it was. Oh, it was pre-bent. It was, but it was still a shit method. Well, good to see they've improved. Oh, it. oh look, it's a sliding Z bend. Over here for your steering arm. Whole choice may vary. Yes. Remember that. <laughs> I'll take that one away. <laughs> yep. From this whole unboxing. <laughs> yep. Whole, chase, whole, whole choice, choice may, may vary. vary. Do you know that too, Burge? Subject to availability. Whole choice may vary. The whole choice? The whole, the whole choice. choice. Not half the choice. The whole, cho whole choice. Is it a whole as in H-O-L-E? Yes. Oh, I always thought that was... That yeah, was a, a yeah well, it's written down here. That's official then? It's official. So... Note that down, so you'll be okay. Look at that. Knock off wheel nut. So they give you two sets of wheel nuts. They give you... Oh, one for display. And... One for display. Oh, no, so it... No, so you put the wheel nut on and then knock off then goes knock over off goes top for top display it. only. Yeah. But I think if you run yours, you'd have to let... You'd have to glue them on. <laughs> I'd, no? Yeah, you... Because the wheel's mine, never going to come off. Mine... Mine will light, get run, I think. Light buckets. But. It's going to make an appearance. I'm calling it at Vintage Bash 3.0. I'm calling it now. And there's your notes. Yeah. Empty. Blank <laughs> canvas for you to fill out. I'll just draw pictures. Well, Tony Gray, when that you do fun. get this one built. It'll come in. And I want to see it before you go and break it. Well, even once it's broken, that's fine too. Yeah. You can bring it on in and I want to have a look at how do you sticker a clear body? Do you stick a clear body? Well, I'm not sure. I just noticed that. That's a bit of a yeah, juxtaposition, isn't it? It's a I'm, difficult situation that AE put us in. Some, uh, some what do you do with the sticker sheet? Carefully applied stickers might be appropriate, I think. Modesty stickers. Uh, more just to... I don't, really don't know. I've never had to do one like this before. But you say that to the, the clear. Guys. The clear MO3 and the clear TLO1, I just put normal body shells on. And ran them. And then just ran them a couple of times. Uh, there was a, and still smashed the part. doesn't matter whether it's clear or not. Uh, no, I didn't smash them. No? I kept, they were kept in very, very good condition. Luckily. Well, and I hope to see this one kept in very, very good condition. Oh, it will be. I'm hey? Well, I'm Brett from Hearns Hobbies, and this is Tony Gray. And, thanks and that's for watching, my RC10. And thanks for watching us unbox Tony's brand new 40-year-old RC10 mm -hmm. crystal, crystal clear edition. Crystal clear. Crystal clear edition. Crystal clear edition. <laughs> Thank you very much, guys. Thanks for watching. Mm -hmm.